5851, turn right, heading 180. New aircraft orders are always a welcome sight within the industry. No matter how big or small, they all have an important place and can be incredibly beneficial for both the provider of said aircraft, that being the aircraft manufacturer, and of course, the customer in question set to receive said aircraft in the future. There is though a new episode of the weekly podcast covering my flight on board Air Canada in business class. Do give it a listen on streaming platforms. You can search it under DJ's Aviation Podcast or click the I in the sky. For Delta, the global pandemic meant several things. Ultimately, their business was severely impacted by key restrictions imposed from the government that essentially halted domestic and international travel. However, that was undoubtedly the low point for their operations. It wasn't though all miserable in the grand scheme of things, especially regarding aircraft looking forward. The pandemic offered the opportunity for Delta to finally make waves in streamlining towards a more efficient group of aircraft types, something that before 2020 20, you could argue, was generally missing. While the airline had several newer aircraft types, the efficiency and benefits the airline came along with went missing when you panned to the large array of older types, and therefore less efficient aircraft. For Delta, following the retirement of several aircraft series and announcing further retirement plans for others that are aging, they've reaped many rewards. Of course, though, aviation enthusiasts may look at this as a negative, similar to the retirement of the beloved Queen of the Skies. However, sometimes at a business operation, Unfortunately, the love for the aircraft from aviation enthusiasts can't always be a reason to keep said plane on. On the front of new aircraft, well, that's where it gets a little bit interesting for the significant US-based airline. For as long as I can remember, well, not quite literally, but essentially over the past year, discussions have surrounded what type the airline would opt for in its future narrow-body fleet. Thanks to a report from Reuters earlier this year, in March, it was noted that the carrier was moving towards Boeing's offering. This would be a deal that would comprise of a total of 100 of the 737 MAX 10 aircraft, the largest variant in the series, and would be a deal that would offer quite the significant boost to both Delta's operations moving forward for its narrowbody fleet, while in addition giving Boeing another important commitment for the popular 737 MAX family that, as we know, has definitely been in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons in recent years. It's another firm step in really rectifying its path. According to new comments from the chief executive, Ed Bastian, Delta is still working towards that very order, with communications with Boeing ongoing about trying to sign a contract that will benefit both parties in the long term, something that can be easier said than done ultimately as well. It appears that not a lot of progress has been made in recent months. However, it's not like Delta doesn't seem interested in the 737 MAX anymore. The interest is still there to utilize it for the future operations, which would therefore lead me to believe a deal should go through. When that is, well, that remains to be seen. But to secure delivery slots and more, they'll want to wrap it up promptly so it can better suit their future outlook. And of course, will tie in with Boeing's very own backlog and delivery outlook. What are your thoughts on Delta looking to acquire the 737 MAX? Of course, as we know, of course, as we know, Delta are one of the last US-based carriers that have not actually ordered the 737 MAX. So a commitment for the narrowbody aircraft would definitely be beneficial just for Boeing and of course for namesake within the United States of America. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.